Okay, so I'm just going to do a single Americano, and I'm looking down in the chute here, and you can see the grinder assembly cap here, and then maybe it's like an inch, I don't know, two centimeters maybe, from wherever the bottom, you know, the grounds come out of the bottom of this thing, and you can kind of see they come out of this, see if I can focus on it, that little silver chute there. Um, so there's some amount of capacity here. So I'm going to hit go. It's going to be loud, but you can see the grinds. I kind of knocked some loose here, so you see some, let's see, down in the, down in the bottom down there. So that's the little brew basket. And then this is where they're going to come from. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go. It's going to get noisy, but uh, you'll see the grinds come out. And then I'll make some comments when it's done. Single go. Then it goes over, gets pressed up in the piston, pre soaks. Separating. Now it's going to add water for the Americano once that's done. Actually, I could stop there and just have a shot, but in fact, I will. I'm just going to stop it. So then it kind of clears. You can see the steam coming up there a little bit, but back again ready for another grind so I'm not sure how many grinds you know how many times through the grinder it would take to get whatever it's grinding right now to come out of the chute it might happen in the same grind it just seemed what the service tech was telling me was that it takes two to three grinds to make sure you fully cleared everything from that chute so it could be just to make sure you've gotten rid of all potential residue in the chute could be it has capacity for two, one or two grinds, and it takes two to three to kind of clear it all out. I'm not 100%, you know, on that. But it doesn't seem like a very long distance, and it's not very thick either, right? It's like a thin little chute down there that kind of dumps out. So, I don't know. For what it's worth, that's what I that's what I see.